everybody welcome to my channel happy 2016th it's the first video of the year and I thought I'd start the year off with a haul video I did film a what I got for Christmas video but that video was a truly a mess so I'm kind of putting some of those items in this video but not quite all of them just like the few clothing items that I got for Christmas but everything else no you just won't see it because I tried to do auto focusing and there was this horrible clicking the whole time in the video. My lighting was a little off so I'm just going to start fresh. So in this video I'm going to do a haul video of everything that I've bought, I don't know, in the last month or so. It is, majority of the stuff is from American Eagle. I do work there so I do get majority of my clothes from there, I get a really great discount and stuff like that. And um, I have one item from Loft, I have a few pieces from Haxon, and yeah, that's it. So we'll just get started from there. I have one item also from Forever 21. I don't really shop there as often as I used to, just because, in my opinion, sometimes their stuff is a little bit expensive. Oh, I have a piece of hair in my face that I can't get out. So let's get started. The first piece is the item from Forever 21. It's just a really nice cardigan. I love cardigans. They're easy to pair up with things. Sometimes if you wear like a basic outfit and you throw a cardigan on, it just looks nice. It's um, it's hanging up with a shirt. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. So this is the cardigan. Not the shirt. I've had the shirt for quite some time, although I have not worn it yet. But this is the cardigan. It's just a really nice, chunky, teal cardigan. I don't necessarily wear a lot of color. Um... But I'm really into green lately and this teal which is really really vibrant and I thought it looked really nice against my skin. And it's a really thick cardigan that I can wear with like a band tee and leggings and like a day off from Doc Martens and it's a simple outfit. So got that. And this was also, I'm not going to really give you prices of everything because some of the stuff I have wore, I'm not going to lie. But um, this was on like their 50% off clearance rack so I think I only paid like $13 for it which is amazing. The next is a pair of shoes. I got these shoes from Hexon. They were actually a gift. I got two gift cards from Hexon for Christmas and I used both of my gift cards to order these boots. They are the Steve Madden Roman um, boots. They look like this. I was kind of iffy and skeptical on ordering them just because they're not real leather. Um, Sometimes they're really hard on shoes but the quality of these are, actually isn't that bad to not be real leather and they are by far like one of the most comfortable shoes I have with some form of a heel on them. They have like a really tiny heel but as you can see there's like a little platform sort of thing. I've worn these two days in a row to work and my feet only hurt like at the very end of the day and that's just like with any shoes just from walking all day at work my feet tend to hurt but these are amazing and I'm really excited and happy that I got them because they go so great with like pretty much any outfit and it gives me like that extra height that I don't necessarily you normally have and I think these were $59.99 or $59 maybe they were more I want to say they were $80 so then for some reason they had like a 30% off or some kind of percentage off and I ended up paying like 60 bucks for them next item is another pair of shoes and I actually got these from DSW and they look like this they're just these really cute lace up shoes by the brand Mia and they're pointy toed I haven't wanted shoes like this for a while but I didn't want to break the bank when buying them I got these from DSW but also used two coupons. I had a $10 coupon from DSW as well as a $5 coupon and I want to say that these shoes were no more than $40 so I only paid like $25 if that or they were $30. I don't know but whatever it was I got them for a really great deal because I got all the percentages off and I love them. They have like this faux velvet um material like not velvet like faux suede look to them. Not real suede. They're not but they're not the more, most comfortable shoes just because they don't have an arc. They're really, really flat. So I have worn them to work a couple times. They're not really comfortable though. Like after a few hours, my feet do hurt. But I do like the look. It's like a really nice um, minimalist look to them. It looks really nice with a pair of, I wore them with a pair of dark skinny jeans and just a basic um, white button up shirt. And it looks really nice. So I got those. Um, the next is a dress. I've worn it once so far. And actually I bought this like more than a month ago. I think I bought this like Black Friday from work. This is from American Eagle. This is really beautiful and dress. And it has like these bell sleeves and then it kind of like it drapes at the bottom like that. It has a beautiful floral print and it ties in the back. Right? Doesn't it tie? Yep, yeah, it ties in the back. I wore it with a denim vest when I wore it and I actually really like it. It reminds me of something like from the 90s. It has like a really nice grunge look to it so when you wear it and wear like one of those choker necklaces and I don't know like dark brown lipstick. It looks really nice. So I got this. I want to say this was 49 maybe. I don't know but 
it's really cute I got it in extra small because it ran really big and I tried the small one but the small was way too big um, next item oh. so I actually got this like two days ago and I have been like I have been wanting a fur vest for I don't know over a year but every time I find one it either looks really cheap or it's not the right length it's not long enough it's a little too short for me for my liking because I want it to I want like a sleek look I wanted something that I could wear um, whoops, that I could wear like um, outdoors like out it's like an out, outerwear piece and I found this really really great one I got a really good deal on it it's huge it looks like this as you can see it's really like big it looks really quite expensive and it's not like black black it looks, says steel gray on the website but it looks black but it has like hints of I don't know like blue and green when light hits it also has this really nice collar I got this from loft um, by Ann Taylor originally it was I want to say $129 they marked it down to $89.99 I got 60% off of that so I only paid um, $36 or $39 something like that I don't know um, and I love it I haven't worn it yet, so let's tag on it. I went and got it the other day, and it's just amazing. The way I'm envisioning myself wearing it with one of the outfits is like a denim button-up shirt and some really nice on um, black sleek jeans, and maybe those black boots that I shown you, um, you know, a couple items ago. And I just think it'd be a really nice look, and maybe like put my hair up like wear it in a bun, do like a faux bun, so it looks like a nice big bun. So yeah, so got that. Next is some shirts that I got from American Eagle. Um, if you check for American Eagle, you notice that we have the Soft and Sexy um, collection with the shirts. And they're just really nice soft material and they're like by far the most comfortable like t-shirt material you can ever come across. It has like a jersey fit. So anyways, I got um, this one that's like this. I'm also a sucker for stripes. So I got this gray and white one and I got this white one with really thin white stripes. I mean, white one with really thin black stripes. I haven't had anything. I use my stripes. Um, the black is like the black um, stripes are thicker than this, so I thought this is really different. So I got this one, and then I got two V-neck striped shirts. One like this. It is a um, black, just black and white. And like I said before, typically when you buy black and white stripes, the stripes look like this. They're a little thicker. And then I got um, a size up, so I got a small instead of an extra small. Just because sometimes I can wear like those cute like um, bralettes that have like the straps and you can kind of see it. I don't know. It'll be cute. And then I also got this which is like a color I don't necessarily usually go for and it's just a really pretty mint green and white. And t-shirts like this is just so simple. You can throw them on with boyfriend jeans and some cute shoes and it's just easy. You throw a cardigan over it if you want a layering piece and it's just pretty, um, it's, it's not hard. I got actually three pairs of jeans. One pair of jeans I can't show you because they ran too small, so I returned them and I ordered a bigger size, but I didn't get them yet. And I got the uh, the Tom Girl jeans by American Eagle, so they're pretty much like the traditional boyfriend jeans that you get anywhere else. So they are a light wash, and I like that the only holes in them are at the knees. Well, there's a hole here, but mainly they're, the knees are just blown out. And look at this at the back. What I like about um, the Tom Girl jeans, um, not only that they the fit of them, but I really love like the vintage buttons. Kind of reminds you of like the I don't know um, vintage like Levi's or guest jeans. So we got those. I got another pair of these that are lighter and they have distressing all down them. Those are the ones that I returned um, to get a bigger size. These in American Eagle jeans I normally wear two. For some reason these don't have as much stretch as like skinny jeans and jeggings, which is explainable because they are a looser material but with that being said I got a four instead of a two I got these these are the jegging ankles so they are jeggings but they come to the ankle and it was really pretty blue um, I just love the blue because it doesn't look like a denim blue it's like a really pretty powder blue and they kind of fade a little bit into to white in the knee area and then they have these holes in the knees which is great and the ends look like this. I think I'm, I'll cuff them because on me they kind of look like pants that are too short. So I think I'm going to cuff them so you know that they're supposed to be like that. They probably look really nice. I have these really nice um, black like minim minimalist um, heels like sandals and they'll probably look really nice with those in the summertime. Another item that I've worn to death, like I probably worn this item maybe 10-12 times because I wear it like 2-3 times a week and it is this olive green vest. 
it looks like this. I don't know if it's still sold out online. I know the store I work in, we sold out of them super fast. And none of, um, none of the sizes are online, but it's amazing. I can understand why it sold out so fast. I got mine like as soon as it came in the shipment box. I bought it that day. And it's just gorgeous. So it's this really pretty um, olive green vest. And it has these drawstrings on the side. So you can either, what I do is I either pull them in and like kind of tie it so it stays scrunched up. Or I tie them together as a closed vest. And it's just awesome. It looks great on like long sleeve, like long sleeve black shirt. I wore this with those um, lace up flat shoes. And I wore this over like the white button up with the skinny jeans. And it was perfect. I got so many compliments on that look and it was effortless. I got this really cute um, cardigan. It's a dark gray. It's like almost black but not quite. It's like black mixed with like light gray and it looks like this. Just basic. Um, this is a basic cardigan. And I got this one and this is a light gray. Trend here? Yes. Not a trend but you see like the colors I typically go for. So this one has a hood and it's very loose and flowy. It's tight in the arms and oh this is gonna be hard to show on camera but like the back does this amazing draping if you can see. It's like amazing. I haven't worn it yet but I just I'm in love with it. Like with all tight everything else in this it's just cute. I got this cute button up and actually in fact I got it because it reminded me of like button ups that my dad always wore growing up and he still does and it's just this um neat it's this like blue and white striped shirt I don't can't think of like the name of this style of shirt but whatever it buttons up it's a boyfriend fit um and I got this one from American Eagle as well so it's loose fitting because it's boyfriend fit and it's just really cute um I wore it once last week and I kind of like tied it up at the waist and it was it was really cute. I want to wear it with high waisted pants neck neck necks and tuck it in because I think that's cute as well. Um next item I got this as a Christmas gift from Pack Sun and it's just this really cute um shirt. Looks really big but it's actually not if it's really tight in the arms but then it's loose everywhere else. It has like a moon, a star and like chains hanging from it. I don't know. It's really cute. Like bohemian like I don't know it's really cute though I got this shirt for the second time at work I bought it like over a year ago well like the the version that we had a year ago and I got an extra small but it doesn't fit anymore like in the like button in it because I'm a little wider than I was then and it's just this olive green button-up shirt buttons up um pretty simple I just like it to wear with like my striped shirt just to throw on top and it looks really nice with like black leggings or black jeans Speaking of black leggings or black jeans, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you these because I like legit wear these twice this week and I think two or three times the last week so they're filthy and I need to wash them today. Um, I'll just show you the top part. They're just pretty much black jeggings. Just black knit jeggings. I've not owned a pair of black knit jeggings in so long but yeah so I got these again. I wasn't going to get them originally because I wasn't too sure about them. I was kind of like on the off about them about getting them just because I used to wear these all the time and I'm like oh they're just once you have a pair you had a pair it's no big deal no these are amazing they say low rise they literally are high rise like I can pull them all the way up and it's, it's they're just so cute and I, they go with everything I need a second pair for sure throw these on the floor again so we can wash them scores so the last thing I'm going to show you it was also a Christmas gift as well and this one came from Paxson I haven't worn it yet just because I want to take it to work and steam it because we don't have a steamer at home but it's something I've been wanting for a while and it's just a really long like olive green like trench like jacket and it looks like this it has a belt and it's just really really long looks like that and it's just cute ah oh, yeah so I kind of want to wear this with like one of my black and white striped shirts underneath and like those black pants that I just showed you that I'm obsessed with and I don't know maybe those Maybe either those boots or like those lace up shoes or then I ha also have some over the knee black boots that I probably should have included in this video because I bought them recently but I don't know where they are so they're somewhere in here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really going to try to film as more, as often, more frequently than I have. Gosh, I can't talk. That's what you get for not filming frequently but life just gets in the way sometimes. I work a lot and 
that's that's pretty much all I, all I got. I work a lot. I'm a mom, and it's really hard for me to like designate some time to film, which I wish I could do it more, like more, more often, like maybe a couple times a week. But it's just it just doesn't work with my schedule. But I would try to film as much as possible. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.